The mantra for public school, which is very reflective of what New York is, is finding perfection and imperfection. You get the pretty and you get the ugly. And that's what makes the city so great. I'm Maxwell Osborne. I'm Dowie Chow. And we are the co-founders of Public School. We both grew up here in New York City. Liking the same music and having grown up with the same references and really wear that badge proudly. And I think it's something that we, we still continue to hold. You know, like so much of our inspiration comes from real people with real style. For us, like that's the perfect getaway, just to be able to go to Joe's and sit and have a slice and watch people walk by and kind of just get lost in the realness that's happening right in front of your eyes on the street. You know, the casting process, is, it's actually a huge part of the process because it's like a look can look good on a rack or it look good on a fit model, but when the, when the right person puts on a certain look, it's, it's automatic, it's instinctual. Everybody knows, everybody snaps their fingers and claps, like, that's right. Our men's stylist, Eugene Tong, is not only the greatest stylist in the world, but he's, a, he's also a good friend and he's a main figure and a constant person on our team. And he's like the unofficial third member. We really wanted to make sure everything was produced here in New York. Like we, we feel like we have to do that just for the businesses, for us, because we're made in New York. We wanted the brand to be made in New York. And being able to run down the street on, in a four block radius, you can visit about six of our factories and, and really oversee everything that we're working on. You know, at, at this point, you want to feel like you can still make these last minute adjustments and in reality, you know, at this point, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. You know, you're, you're, you're running around trying to make everything perfect, but it's never going to be perfect. So you just let go. With the direction of like this, this post-apocalyptic world, it felt like the resistance shouldn't be one type of guy. It's, you know, like, you're, you're black, you're white, you're short, you're tall, let's all go. And it was like really supposed to be this whole rebellious, everybody just going against, going against the establishment. I mean, this show for us was kind of the culmination of everything that we've been doing for the brand in terms of the things that we stand for. And that acronym, WNL, which stands for We Need Leaders, that's been a call to action that we really have tried to implement in various ways. The spirit that we try to invoke in our collections of you know, being leaders and never following and doing things the right way, even when no one's looking at we're you know, trying to stay true to who we are and stay true to the idea of what public school is. nice to come out and and see your family in the crowd and my youngest son is, is, is always there and we scoop him up and then we get back and, and that's it the end of you know six months of work and wrapped up in in eight minutes It's definitely a cool time. CFDA is, is like the Oscars of fashion. In the midst of it, it's, it's really like a blur. But then when Dwayne Wade actually comes into the room and then we're almost dressed and you think about it, you're like, oh wow, we are, are nominated tonight. And we are getting dressed to go to an award show that we're nominated for. Makes you feel present. We're happy to be part of New York City. We're happy to be born here in New York City, raised here in New York City, and we're happy that we put Made in New York in our labels.